Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going over my favourite top 10 CTF websites. So CTFs or Capture the Flags are uh, like online resources to learn ethical hacking and cybersecurity practices. There's heaps of them out there and uh, they range from specializing in different things like Linux to networking to forensics and reversing. So let's get straight into the list. Number one on my list is, of course, tryhackme.com. There's a link in the description um, for anyone who wants to sign up to Try Hack Me using my referral link and you get some free CTFs on there that are usually paid for. But I highly recommend you signing up a paid account because you get access to absolutely everything and there is some really great stuff on there as well as courses. Try Hack Me has a, a huge different range of courses or CTFs that are created by users as well as universities and uh, there's a couple on there that have been ripped from things like DEF CON and Seesaw. One of my favorite ones on there is the Seesaw Wireshark Challenge which I've done a walkthrough video for uh, in my channel so have a look at the uh, playlist there for CTFs, but yeah, it's it's a great website for all sorts of different learning resources different CTF styles It's it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So jump on over to tryhackme.com. The next one on my list is Hackthebox.eu now hack the box is pretty much the same as try hack me but with a different range of rooms that I find are personally more difficult than the ones on try hack me just like Try Hack Me, there's a huge list of different ones on there. Uh, networking, forensics, reversing, everything. It's all on there, so definitely check out hackthebox.eu. To get into Hack the Box, you need to actually hack the website to generate a, a code which is then used to get access to the site. Once you've got that, then you can create an account and go through the rest of the motions. Number three on my list is overthewire.org. Now, this one mostly specializes in Linux and it's, it's quite cool the way that they've set it out. You basically create a VPN to the overthewire boxes and then log in and continue hacking from there. There's not much description on each of them. You just sort of need to find out what the flag is at the end. Number four is root hyphen me.org. Now rootme is pretty much the same as over the wire um, but with some extra stuff thrown in there and some different rooms uh, fairly similar to try hack me. I don't use this one too much or any of the ones actually on the list after those first three. Those are my main three that I, I go to weekly. The next one on the list number five is ringzazeroteam.com now this one again is, I, I'm not a big fan of the layout on this one, but there are some really great boxes on there. Um, there's a really cool Linux box where you have to reverse a whole bunch of images to find out a flag, and then you put them all together and run a hash cat against it and then you've got your flag. Um, I'm not going to say which room it is, otherwise I'll give it away, but there's some great rooms on there apart from that one which are definitely worth checking out. Number six is hack.me and this one is also pretty good. It's very much the same as Hack the Box or Try Hack Me. Huge list of CTFs on there, user created as well as site created. And it, there's some really good learning resources and learning paths included as well. So it's definitely worthwhile having a look at this if you want to pick up your skill on web app pen testing. Number seven on the list is ctftime.org. Now CTF time is more about hacking as a group, so it's in, instead of like the other ones where it's more of an individual approach, these ones are focused more at groups or like hacking groups like at DEF CON where you go to this website, you find the machine, you VM into that machine and you then all as a group complete the challenge. This one's good for things like team building as well as learning from other people in your team as well as doing your own sort of learning just like all of the other websites. Next one is number eight which is Pico CTF. Now this one is one that I've only recently come across and so far it looks pretty awesome. There's a pretty large range of CTFs on here and just like the other ones there's ranging from networking to reversing to all sorts of like packet analysis type stuff 
and it's yeah it seems to be a, a good website with lots of growing resources and a, a growing community so number eight is pico ctf definitely worth checking out number nine is ctf 365 and this one's one that i used to go to a lot more often than i do now that there's newer and i feel better ones which is why this one is number nine on the list it seems to have sort of lacked in its creativity recently but it is still a great place to start if you want to start picking up very basics of CTFs. The last one on the list, number 10, is ctf101.org. Now this one is very much the same as Pico CTF and CTF365. Um, a lot of the stuff is a little bit more basic, I feel, but it seems like there are some pretty difficult rooms on there as well, which look to be, I haven't tried them yet, but they look to be pretty good at having a crack at. So that's my top 10 list of CTFs to get yourself started with and potentially progress further. Some of these sites like Try Hack Me and Hack The Box actually offer jobs through their sites for different companies looking for professional pen testers. So definitely worth checking out those sites and maybe even landing yourself a job. If you have any recommendations for other CTF websites out there that I haven't mentioned in my top 10, please do comment them below and I'll try and upvote them as much as possible. But as always, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe for more content about cybersecurity, and I'll see you on the next video. Catch you later, guys.